Hello world. So, what we're going to do today, this is actually my third attempt, but it doesn't matter, um, is we are going to download genomes to our computer and start to analyze them using Python. So what we're going to do, if you type on tray into your command line, if you're using Linux, if you're not using Linux, I recommend using git bash. You can download that at git-scm.com slash downloads. That will get you ready to do this tutorial. Alright, Windows users are back. So, go into your terminal and type on tray and it will press enter and it will say sudo um actually we want e-search and it says ah command e-search not found but can be installed with sudo apt install do what your very handy command line has told you to do type that in press enter type in your password enter and now it's installing ncbi on tray direct this is what we're going to use in order to download our genomes to our computer. Okay, so now, um, and that's just that easy. So now what we do is we go to our useful handy dandy example here. eSearch-db. db specifies what database we want to do. Let's download the proteins. Uh, query. So this can be anything you like. If you want primates, do primata. If you want to do fish, do whatever they're called. But we're going to do Cardiovirales, which are bacteriophage and, and they're viruses and bacteria. These are double-strand DNA viruses. And so once you do that, you do a pipe and you do go efetch dash format FASTA. So what eSearch is doing is it's searching all of GenBank for your query in the database you specify. The efetch is saying this is how we want to display it. So we're going to put this in a FASTA format, which is a standard way of downloading genomes. And then if you do it just like this, it will print it on the screen. But that's not useful for data signs. So if you do a, a greater than sign, then you type what you want. So we're going to say bacteriophage phage one dot FASTA because I've already done this before. And then you press enter. Boopity boopity boop. It is now loading. So now, if we open another one and we press ls, we're going to find bacteriophage1.fasta. And that, that's the one we just created. Bacteriophage.fasta was the first attempt, but unfortunately it wasn't recording my screen because I haven't done this very often. And that was a, a human error. So now what we need to do, now that we know our... Ah, now that we know that our uh, file is there to analyze, including the one from earlier, which I screwed up, Type Jupyter Notebook. If you don't have that, use Anaconda to download it and get that running. It's my preferred way, but if you use Spider or whatever, that's those are good too. It's just what I'm used to. And so I've already started this Python Notebook from that time that it, oh, it, I didn't tell um, my OBS to import my screen. So that was my mistake. So we need to do BioPython. So that's pretty simple. Uh, open another tab in your terminal. If you say pip install biopython, that will install um, biopython, which is the one we're going to use. Their website is um, biopython.org. And with that, you can get all the information you need to do this tutorial in more detail. So I started with is this code they have from bioimportseek.io and then, then prints everything on the screen from the fastest. So we're going to just run this and run that. So you just prints it on the screen. Okay, but that's not terribly useful. So we're going to change what we're doing. So from bio import seek.io, uh, create a list called genomes. And then for seek.io in seek.io.parse bacteriophage.fasta fasta, and then genomes.append into the list, we make a list of lists. First we have the ID for the sequence. Then we have the genomic sequence in our second item. Then we have the length of the sequence, and then the name of the protein. So now if we do, uh, this is another way, you can just print the sequence record, tells you all the information. And now if we import pandas as pd, um, and do pd.dataframe um, for genomes, it should turn it into a data frame which will be printed on our screen. What? What did I call it? Oh, because I didn't finish. Again, it's all user error. Just need to run all of these cells. I didn't define genomes because I ran it earlier and that's why it didn't work. 
human error everywhere. So now it's loading, and there you go. You now have a data frame. You have your uh, unique ID, you have your sequence, you have the length, and you have its name. And so you can rename your column. So genomic, we're just saying uh, PD DF equals boop, and then DF, and then DF dot columns dot columns equals, and then we're gonna call that a list. Um, unfortunately, the names are here, so we're gonna say ID. Um, they call it as just sequence. Uh, length and name. Now you press df.head and you have your column names. So that tells a user what you're doing. So one thing you can do further is you can get the sequence and get that printed even nicer in further. But this is a really quick and dirty way to quickly get your data into a pandas data frame. Um, working with sequences. Uh, and so if we then said, um, we can then do it even better. So we can do one better than that. So we're going to copy this code because this isn't useful. The seek and then all of that stuff is not useful for Python, for uh, reading. But if we say not just wrapper, but also um, print. genomes and we're just gonna say and then we go we don't need all this dirty code that's unnecessary uh, df equals pd dot data frame genomes and then df dot columns equals basically we're just copying this code here we're just changing one thing, but in order to do it right, we need to do the whole thing again. That's the way I know how to do it. df.head. Uh, and there you go. Uh, that didn't work. Why did that not work? Um... Let's try that. If at first you don't succeed, try, try, bang your head against a wall. That's usually the way it's done, right? Ah, I think that one worked well. Ah, we don't want to do, we just want to do it like this. And then that all works. There you go. But what we wanted, that's not exactly what we want. Um, hmm. Okay, there's an easier way to do this. But I know that there is a way to... Um, to do this. I've done it before. But this is watching me debug. Which is, you know, kind of a thing on Data Science YouTube. Um... Okay, seek record dot seek. Um, DF sequence. Interesting. It's still hmm. Not sure why that's not running that way. Huh. Point being, I know there's a way to do it. And... Aha! So if we then said... DF... 
there's probably an easier way to do this. But then we say df um, x for x and df sequence. And then we say print df sequence 0 for x and df sequence. That should work. Yep, that'll work. And then we do df.head. Nope, that did not work. Anyways. There are ways to do it, but you have your data, and that's what matters. And then all you need to do is figure out how to concat all of that. Huh. But, you know, that's for you to play with, and it's not telling me how to do it right. Um, I don't have my code anymore. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna actually solve this problem. Um, hmm. There are a lot of good tools on this. So that's really useful. Um, aha, that's what we need to do. We need to turn it into a string. STR. Boom da boom da boom. DF head. That's how you do it. Okay, and now this is something you can easily put into a machine learning algorithm. And then you have your name on the on the right. And then you can start to do science to it. Um, you can also download a taxonomy using this tool. That's something I was working on before. And yeah, the whatever question you want to answer. But now you have the sequence for every protein of what you're interested in in the data frame. And it's going to get very large. Um, this is only 67,000 rows, so that's not too bad. Um, it's still running in the background for the new FASTA. And at this point, up to you. What are you interested in? So, um, good luck. I hope you have a fun time and do good work and, you know, save lives. I mean, that's what this is all about. So, all right. I'm glad I made that work on the third attempt. Thanks. Bye.